and welcome back to the Folklore Hiking Stick Workshop. I have a custom stick here I'd like to show you and um, I'm very uh, pleased to be able to present it to you as um, a finished item which is going to be picked up by the customer today and um, when I say customer it's a walkers group and they've put a lot of work my way. Um, I think I've probably done 10 or 12 pieces for them over the time and um yeah they do come back they always request it finished in boiled linseed rather than polyurethane and the reason i get is they like to be able to feel the wood it feels more natural polyurethane you know is a fantastic um you know substance for uv protection water protection and longevity but what you do get with that you lack in the actual hand you know touch feel of the wood you are basically with boiled linseed touching the wood because the boiled linseed soaks into the wood to give it its protection so you know all these here are in boiled linseed it's got a, a generous copper tip which i've really polished that up to a nice shine and i've brought this down into the actual chamfer to go into the compression tip really really snug it fits it comes down from the girth of the shaft really gently and it flows right in and it, it's a good solid you know fit and it looks nice it, it looks like it's actually part of the stick not not an add-on now i'll bring you up to the handle i've actually got a peaked handle which I've got the symmetry absolutely spot on on this one and it's very ergonomic the hand the hand feels nice around the shaft where your thumb just rests straight over the top so that all looks really good feels good and it actually looks you know you can see a lot more time and effort on my part has been put in to get that right right the actual shaft is you know robust and solid but it's not over oversized because this is a walkers group stick and they're going to be doing a lot of miles so it has to be lightweight enough for an individual to do those miles and not hold this and get you know fatigued and go i'm just going to throw this in the hedge halfway around their hike <laughs> you know um, but um yeah it's just the right size for a hiking stick and um, for that particular purpose alone now it's got multiple pieces of artwork on it and that's because 90 percent of the ones i do for them they ask for like songbirds and woodland forest themed so it's got woodland uh, birds animals and it's actually got leaves nuts and and woodland depictions of what you would see out while you're hiking the footpaths and you know uh, it takes my time to do it but i'm i'm happy to put my time in on this sort of uh, custom order because it's showcasing it to other people yeah so basically if we have a quick little look at this artwork here you'll see a bumblebee there oak leaves and acorns instantly recognizable songbird ivy running up the shaft the wording there um it, you probably it'd be the wrong way around i should think happy 70th birthday i obviously covered out in the name because it's an individual item to somebody uh love from u3a now that's a walkers group a local walkers group um i don't actually know what the u3a stands for but it's part of their walkers group and um yeah inside that more acorns there a little squirrel if you can see that there i've got the actual hazel leaves and hazel nuts there more ivy if you can see that a blackbird there another small songbird my logo and more oak and um acorns there um yeah so 
it's been polished like uh, you know like i said the actual finish is boiled in see but i've put more time and effort into the polish of this item to give it that little bit more of a wow factor i've basically for the extra money and it being classified as custom i've put more time and effort into this uh, particular stick and that's what the customer is paying for but yeah uh, this is being picked up in a moment and um you know i'm very happy you know with what i've got here to pass on to that group and it's obviously showcasing my work to this walkers group and other people they see out and about i do have to go and pick up some signs that we've had made for our outdoors stall and i'll, I'll just discuss that later on so you know this morning this is going i've got to then go and get these sign uh, signs from a nearby nearby town um so, you know, that's a little bit of a journey, a bit of a running round, but uh, I waited a little while. Um, along with that, hopefully our hoodies that we've had ordered with different, uh, slightly different design will be able for us to pick up. Because obviously when we go selling, um, it's nice if me, my wife and my kids are all wearing the same hoodie. as a little bit of a um, selling advertising point i suppose and it just looks a little bit more professional doesn't it well i think it does my stall um i've had great success over a few years uh, we've been doing it out the front and um it kind of came to an end that we had to relocate it which i've done but i'm wait been waiting for some signs to start getting the final build on the store done out there and um like i said i'll show you that in a, in a moment and um yeah i'm very pleased with how this has come out well guys um we've actually just come back we've got our signs and hoodies very pleased with what we can see i haven't unwrapped everything we had to get back because um our dog is going uh, somewhere to get used to for when we go away this weekend so i've given like a, a 24 hour period with the um well with jamie's door so it can kind of like uh, settle in and get used to where it is but yeah we've got signs we have been told on many occasion you know we need to kind of uh gradually up our game um locally in this area you know i've acquired the the nickname as the stick man the kids find it amusing and my wife finds it um you know something to poke me with a little bit of amusement but also she's kind of like horrified that we've acquired that kind of status as you know the stick family and i'm the stick man but um you know it's we're at that point where you know we're trying to up our game a little bit but um yeah um these are the signs and um i'll open them and let's see what we've got here i have them on aluminium instead of plastic um, i was advised to for longevity i'll put one out on my stall and one will be detachable from my workshop um, wall so it can come with us and be added to our store when we're out and about selling but oh they're looking really stunning actually absolutely stunning and yeah I'm, I'm really pleased with this I think I should have done this last year actually but in any case I'll let you have a look So it's a slightly different design with the mountains. That's kind of because we've got a different company doing it. So there is um, copyright, you know, kind of considerations. But yeah, that's going to go out on my stall at the front. And I think this is absolutely um, well a work of art in its own right. <laughs> I know I'm biased, but I do quite like that. It's quite bold. And um dare I say it, it looks quite modern, um, you know, and, you know, the hiking stick part of it, we're aiming at the hiking stick market, um, not so much the, the walking stick side of things, people associate that with a lot of older people, 
and um, you know which is nothing wrong in that but that market in itself is totally saturated here not very many people concentrate on the hiking stick side of the market aimed at younger people doing long distance trails and over difficult terrain which is the market i'm trying to capture and i think this does kind of say you know hiking stick and it's a little bit more modern than uh you know than what i could have actually hoped for i, I really like this so yeah <sighs> Yet again, exactly the same on the other one. So, you know, one on the workshop, one on the stall. And I've got the hoodies for myself. You can see our, our old design here. This is one of the kids' hoodies. It's got that on the front, which is the new design. On the back, it has the new design. And obviously the same contact numbers and it states our Facebook and our, um, you know, YouTube channel, which is obviously you're seeing this on. So I've got two of these for the two boys. And then my wife has just gone off wearing one now. She quite likes them. I was rather frightened that she wouldn't, you know, being, being a lady, they get quite conscious of what they might look like. But yeah, this one's mine, as you can see, it's slightly larger. Um, it's got that same design, slightly different. And yet again, that on the back. And I think it just captures what we're about. Yeah, very pleased with this. Um, you know, worth every penny. I'll just put a few clips of what we did the weekend at a uh, selling a venue and it was a May Day celebration. That was just where the stall holders and people displaying stuff had the first hour to get all set up before the general public turned up. That's why there's nobody there. It was absolutely rammed and it was a glorious hot day when the sun came out. But yeah, that's pretty much what our store looks like uh, at the moment. And we're in the process of gradually uh, vamping it up. But, um, you know, it's simple, it's cheap, it's effective. And, um, you know, we did actually sell four pieces that day. So we were extremely happy. So, yeah, um, you know, you don't have to go all out. I always keep saying this. If you're small time, just stay simple, stay, stay small, you're know, uncomplicated and um, you can produce results. Well, I've got to head back into the workshop once I've finished a coffee. And, um, you know, it's been a little bit of a rush today, like I said, to get that stick uh, out to the customer or 
um, get it ready for the customer and on top of that um, to go and get these signs and it was a little bit of a palaver to get over there and back but we've done it and um, we're very pleased with the results it was worth the wait so I'm going to get those on the stall and on the workshop and um, get back in there crafting some hiking sticks so I hope you enjoyed this little video of what's happening around here regarding hiking sticks and uh, all that's left to be said is uh, you know take care stay safe and I hope to catch you guys out on the trail all the best Andy